It was August 21st of last year when straight line winds destroyed the showboat. Fortunately, it took place late at night and no one was injured. Tonight, it was in the midst of a performance with 1,200 spectators on hand. There was cause for apprehension. That was 40 years ago when strong winds caused significant damage to Lowell's iconic showboat. Today, crews began the process of demolishing the showboat for good. In 2017, it was determined the showboat was simply no longer safe, and the difficult decision was made to close it to the public and tear it down. Today, 13 On Your Side's Brent Ashcroft was there, reminiscing with Lowell residents as they watched a piece of their past disappear. Whether it's floated or sat dormant here on the Flat River in downtown Lowell, the showboat has been a fixture in this community for nearly 90 years. After today, it'll be gone. Before the demolition began, sentimental reasons. Linda and Gordon Wolbers found the best possible place to park to watch it go. It's got a long, long history. It's bittersweet. I don't know which is going to be harder, driving by every day and seeing the old girl rot or tearing it down. Like many from Lowell, they have a connection to it. Our sister-in-law performed in the choir with Pearl Bailey and danced with Pearl Bailey. We're just hoping that there will be a sliver of a board or something we can take home. Before the big equipment went to work, pieces of the showboat were cut, collected, and stored in a nearby shed. We have many pieces set aside that will be auctioned off. Terry McCready also arrived early. I love this boat. She wanted to document the day. I was married on this boat. This is my boat. I'm going to be sad to see it go. There have been five different versions of the showboat since 1932. The current version was built by Ivan Blau in 1979 after a strong storm destroyed the previous one. It's hard to see it go, but yet it's it's hard to see it in this kind of condition. The time came to say goodbye. For the first time in 40 years, Showboat City doesn't have a showboat. We knew that someday this day was going to come. Mike Burns, the Lowell City Manager, gave me this piece of the Lowell showboat to uh, keep for myself as a souvenir, but I think it will mean more to Linda from what she was telling us earlier today. Guess what I have for you. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm going to give it to my sister-in-law, Carol. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> She'll be so excited. Thank you. Lowell can't go without a showboat, can it? City officials say the tradition will continue. A new showboat is being discussed. By the way, remnants of this showboat are going to be made available to the public for those who want them through a future fundraising effort. In downtown Lowell, Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side. Thank you.